split open attempts to take a closer look at the landscape of uncertainty, temporarily detached from definite points of orientation. People's approach to life has changed over the past year. How do the changes in connectivity impact one's understanding of one another and themselves? Do we form our identity dependently, interdependently or independently from others? How correlated or separated are we from our environment? Presenting an international group of artists, the exhibition depicts a universe in which humankind is being separated. Lives are split apart, yet this new reality carries the possibility of discovering the similarities and differences in people, as well as the need for others in order to see and experience the fullness and beauty that is in individuals, culture and community. Through the medium of installations, videos, paintings and prints, the exhibition brings together artworks that examine from different angles the nature of relationships, the importance of interaction, identity anxiety, and the journey of self-discovery. If you want to know more about the exhibition, please read our new blog post on our Culture Catalyst blog. For this video, we pose three questions to the artists. Circling around the experience with this exhibition, future projects, and the importance of art during the pandemic. Here's what they answer. I was very happy that a part of the installation Together Alone, which I created in 2020 during the first lockdown, could take place this year in a new context, in a lovely group exhibition at the gallery. Um, that meant a lot to me to participate with, especially with that work. I'm interested in painting, video art and installation disciplines. Uh, I joined this exhibition uh, with video work. Uh, during this exhibition, uh, the thing that excited me the most and which I consider valuable from my point of view was to come together with my artist friends from different nationalities and express our ideas uh, freely. Uh, I had good experience for myself. Uh, I had participated uh, in exhibitions in the country where I lived before, uh, but this was the most valuable for me. Uh, I would like to thank uh, the Culture Shop team uh, for this opportunity. For me, in this exhibition in the Green Hill Gallery, it is very important to be able to share my vision with the audience. It is also very important for me to talk about the invisible, meaningful and valuable. It was also incredible to uh, become a part of an exhibition with, uh, in which all artists are unusual and different and truly amazing. 2020, I was a very frustrated as an artist. As you know, most activities were restricted except for essential. Artists couldn't show their work, and I also had many exhibitions cancelled for the years. But during the pandemic, I didn't stop doing the work about the relationship. I was very lucky to join this exhibition with the stage of works. I was encouraged to work with other artists and the culture shopper team who were working with the same plan. Due to ongoing restrictions, we uh, communicated with live streams and video recording. I learned a lot and discovered new possibilities for doing artwork during these difficult times. For me, uh, the most valuable thing about this exhibition was just to be in touch with uh, all the artists, just to know about their works, what they think and what they feel, and also just to get in touch with a group of key apps. Uh, for me, it was a really wonderful experience and it's something that I, I will have uh, <laughs> in my memories as a, something really good. Communication and uniting are very important, so the opportunity to talk about what is really meaningful for me in these interesting times is very significant. 
being a part of that community, looking at art, talking about art is what makes us stronger, what opens our hearts and heals our souls. To share this experience with the loved ones or to be alone with art, everyone chooses for himself the approach that is closer. I'm so afraid of the art market will become commercialized like the art fair and art auction. I've already thought what is art for us and what can art do for our lives. I think we can't to, to all be an artist and it is not easy to buy expensive artwork. But I think everyone should be able to enjoy and participate in art free. Especially now that we are living through the pandemic and activities outside is restricted. It is getting few chances to share our ideas and feelings. We all have a few chances to learn about and understand the different cultures even though we can't physically visit to gallery and to participate in events easily but i think a meeting online is a good way to connect and communicate with each other we need to learn discourse feel and to participate in art and I'm sure it can enrich our lives and encourage the stability in these difficult times. Uh, regarding art as a communication, uh, for me it's, uh, it's really important, especially during these uh, complicated times. And I cannot imagine myself uh, without art in terms of uh, uh, music, uh, books, uh, movies. Uh, life without uh, art could be a mistake, I guess. So I think uh, it's, a, it's a very important tool. And uh, I think it's really important also just to uh, support the artists, just to know what they are doing, what we are thinking, and, and together uh, try to do a better community, just to also learn about our mistakes and just to look forward and try just to be better as a society, I guess. Art has a huge uh, impact on our mood and on our emotions as well. So I think sharing ideas and feelings in all kinds of art forms is an important way of um, communication. And it simply connects us with each other. Because uh, of the pandemic measures in my country, uh, I spend a lot of time uh, at home for now. Uh, there is no specific topic, uh, them or emotion uh, that I'm interested in. Uh, I'm just trying to learn uh, a little more of the digital world. Uh, I think how I can keep up uh, with the dynamics to developments in the world and uh, I wonder where the art will be in this. My next steps uh, regarding uh, my art, I'm, I just went to a different direction. I was uh, uh, focusing the human being before, and I wanted just to go a bit deeper, and I wanted just to explore uh, the same topic in a different way. I wanted just to uh, um, challenge myself in a way, and I started just to make some experiments uh, working with uh, abstract figures and geometric figures and I think uh, this is uh, what I'm doing for a year or something and it's evolving and I, I, I'm really uh, happy about that. These days I'm concentrating more on the circle series. I'm trying to make uh, various compositions and uh, sizes. So far I produce the small pieces uh, which have uh, four or five circles on them and I grouped all the pieces together on the wall. Now I'm trying to make a complex structure with dozens of circles on a large canvas. 
I will show them at the exhibition in Austria and Spain in um, this summer. Uh, you can see all my works on my Instagram and I hope to continue communicating with you. Yeah, I'm, I'm lucky because I got an art funding this year so I will be able to develop my new light installation a bit further and also to bring it to the next level. Um, I hope it can be shown in the late summer. Uh, beginning of autumn, so I'm very looking forward and hope to see you all there. Currently, I'm working on an installation project about peace, freedom, beliefs of uh, perception and memory. It is about symbols which are common for everyone in our culture, about the those to the symbols uh, and messengers of peace and freedom. The early Christian fish and ancient symbol of unity about common stars, uh, about the symbol of dreams and uh, at the beginning of something new. That small and invisible space that around us becomes unpredictable and meaningful if you look at it with a painted look uh, from the inside. Thank you for watching! We hope you enjoyed this video and could connect to the artist's world. If you would like to see more from them, feel free to check out their social media linked in the description box below. Do you want to get to know or support Kulturschöpfer? That's great! The links for our social media, website and Better Place are also linked below. Until next time!